part nine, connecting to the Unix client machine. So for this, we're going to use a suite of tools called Putty. So there's Putty Agent, Putty Gen, and Putty itself. This suite of tools allows us to connect from our Windows machines via a, what we call a secure shell onto our Linux machines. Now, to implement this secure shell, we have to use a, our private key that was provided by Amazon. The only downside is that that key isn't compatible with Putty. However, Putty provides a tool called Putty Gen, which actually generates keys, but also converts keys. So it will convert our Amazon private key into the format that Putty requires. And this is step one. We need to convert our .pm key. Second step then, we need to run Putty Agent. Putty Agent runs as a service in the background and holds our key and is used as part of the connection to our client machine, our Unix machine. Third step, we start Putty, we configure the host that we want to connect to, our Linux machine, and then we can open that connection on the client machine with a secure shell. So step one then, we need to convert our private key that Amazon provided us with. If you find a key that you've got saved on your local machine, and we'll need to copy that, and we'll copy it across to our Amazon Windows instance. So if we come back into our EC2 management console, start up our RDP connection for our Windows instance, Having first got our password that we decrypted in one of the previous sessions, so right click on Windows, click Connect, download the remote desktop file which allows us to connect with RDP connection. So once we have that RDP connect, we'll want to paste that .pm file onto the desktop. And then we can use Putty Gen to convert it into the correct format for Putty. So open up Putty Gen, load the key that's on the desktop, And then we can save that private key in the format that Putty understands. You'll be prompted to enter a, a passphrase. For you, this is like a password, but it can be a longer format. And when you load the private key into Putty agent, it'll ask for that. Uh, it'll ask for that passphrase, which we'll see in a minute. So we'll see on the desktop now. We have our Putty private key in the correct format. So the next step then is to load this key into Putty agent so that it's stored and running in the Putty Agent service in the background ready for our connection. So if you open Putty folder again, select Putty Agent and this runs as a service on your Windows machine and what we can do there is add the key. So if you click add key and we'll select the key that we've just created on our desktop. And at this point it asks for the passphrase. And we now have our private key stored in the Putty Agent application. And if you click on View Keys, you can see the, the key that's been stored in Putty Agent. So third step then, we need to configure the connection details in Putty itself. So if you open 
putty. And we can configure the connection details to our Unix machine. Now, before we can enter all the details for this connection to our, our Unix machine, we need to find the IP address for our Unix machine. Now, because we're working on our Windows machine within our virtual private cloud, and we're connecting to the Unix machine within that same virtual private cloud, we can use our private IP address. So this will not work from outside of our virtual private cloud, but it will work from our Windows machine inside the virtual private cloud. So we can paste the IP address in there. We can save it as a particular type of session, so a Unix client. So it's just giving it a name for the connection and save that connection. The other piece of information that you, you want to enter in here is under the connection data is the name of the user that you're going to log in with. Now the Amazon machine image we use to create our Linux machine is configured so that the root or the admin user if you like is called Ubuntu. So if we use that as the username, making sure we save that again, and then we should just be able to click on open. and get a connection to our Unix machine. So on the first connection you'll always have this uh, security alert and it's just that the, the key, the private key that we have loaded in Putty Agent hasn't been registered with the, the Unix client machine yet. So to register it we just click on yes here and then we won't have that warning uh, on subsequent connections. And there we are straight into our Ubuntu Unix machine, our client machine and if you exit from that and come back down to the taskbar and look at Putty Agent you'll see now if you right click on here you have save sessions and you can just click on the Unix client and it goes straight in without you having to worry about entering any user details or passwords onto our Linux client machine. And that's it for configuring and connecting to all of our Amazon instances that have been set up within our virtual private cloud. We have the ability to RDP onto our Windows machine in our virtual private cloud and from our Windows machine we can now use PuTTY to create a secure shell connection onto our Linux machine in that same cloud. In the next session we'll look at monitoring and usage of our Amazon machines just to make sure that we don't incur any charges as we're running all of this within the Amazon free tier.